Atlantis Houston, take air data. Houston Atlantis will take air data. Two air data probes on the left and right sides of Atlantis's nose now using atmospheric pressure data to update onboard information about its altitude. Atlantis now approaching the uh, heading alignment circle. Time to touch down six minutes. Atlantis 14 miles in altitude, range to touch down 70 miles. Atlantis, Houston, you're on energy approaching the hack. No changes to winds or weather. Nominal shoot. Houston, Atlantis, we copy all mass. Nominal shoot deploy. Atlantis preparing to go subsonic. Four and a half minutes till touchdown. Commander Steve Frick now has taken over manual control flying Atlantis around the heading alignment circle. <laughs> Twin sonic booms heralding Atlantis' arrival at the Florida spaceport. This view now out of the uh, heads up display, the pilot point of view camera. Alan Poindexter, the pilot, now taking a turn at the stick. Atlantis on at the 180. Copy, on at the 180. Commander Steve Frick has taken the stick back. 
executing an overhead left-hand turn to align Atlantis with runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, the northwest to southeast approach. Atlantis, on at the 90. Copy, on at the 90. Runway should be in sight momentarily. Houston Atlantis, runway's in sight. Copy field and sight, Atlantis. Punching through a deck of clouds at about 11,000 feet, Atlantis now aligned with runway 15. Commander Steve Frick will execute the pre-flare of Atlantis's nose. down and long. Main gear touchdown. Point Dexter now deploying the drag chute. Nose gear touchdown. Atlantis rolling out on runway 15 at the Kennedy Space Center, wrapping up a 5.3 million mile mission to expand the global village of space. Dan Tawney, home after 120 days in orbit. Keeping us 